We all have some bad habits that we'd like to change, such as procrastinating or spending too much time on the couch watching TV. Some of us even have addictions to substances such as alcohol, cocaine, or cigarettes. Others have addictions to behavior such as gambling, shopping, or sex. As you already know, changing a bad habit is difficult and overcoming an addiction can seem impossible, which is why it's important to understand the five stages of change. In 1977, Drs. De Clemente and Prochaska, two alcoholism researchers, introduced a five-stage model of change that continues to offer guidance for changing bad habits and overcoming addiction. I now will explain the five stages of change. Stage number one, pre-contemplation. Individuals in the pre-contemplation stage are simply not ready for change. They deny they have a problem or have given up hope for change. Either way, they have no motivation for changing a bad habit or addiction. So this would be Alice, a diabetic who continues to live off donuts and ice cream despite her doctor's warnings, and Brad, a busy executive who drinks himself into a stupor each night, telling himself that his wife is just a nag who doesn't understand his need to relax with a few drinks. Stage number two, contemplation. Individuals in the contemplation stage are willing to consider that they have a problem, but their feelings are still mixed about doing anything about it. So even though they're weighing the pros and cons of a continuing a bad habit, there's still no commitment to changing the bad habit. So this is when Alice begins researching the consequences of not complying with a diabetic diet, and Brad begins to see how drinking is affecting his marriage. But neither Alice nor Brad is ready to commit to change. Stage number three, preparation. Individuals in the preparation stage have overcome their denial or hopelessness about their bad habit and are now ready to work on making changes in the near future. Often such individuals begin by trying to do it on their own and sometimes they succeed, but often they don't. So this is when Alice begins trying to cut down on sweets, but with mixed results. And Brad downloads an Alcoholics Anonymous schedule, but can't seem to get himself to a meeting. Stage number four, action. Individuals in the action stage have committed to change and begun modifying their behaviors to that end. They have learned from previous unsuccessful attempts and are now ready to seek help and create a plan for change and recovery. So this is when Alice asks her doctor for help and follows his recommendations for attending a diabetes nutrition class and when Brad begins attending Alcoholics Anonymous three times a week. Stage number five, maintenance. Individuals in the maintenance stage have created healthy habits to replace the bad ones and now focus on strengthening the new habits to avoid falling back into the old ones. So this is when Alice continues to hone her skills for eating a healthy diabetic diet and Brad continues to improve his relapse prevention skills and social supports by attending Alcoholics Anonymous on a regular basis. So how can the five stages of change help you overcome a bad habit or addiction? Well, first you must study the five stages of change and try to pinpoint which stage you're in. Of course, if you're in the pre-contemplation stage, you may not think you have a problem, so you need to listen to any concerns expressed by trusted friends and family. Once you pinpoint the stage you're in, then you can determine what you need to do to reach the next stage. For example, if you're stuck in the preparation stage, then maybe you need to ask for help. In summary, it can take time, mindfulness, energy, and commitment to break bad habits, but you can do it. We are all capable of making positive changes if we understand the process of creating healthy habits. I wish you the best on your journey to wellness. If you'd like help in making positive changes for a healthier life, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel so you can hear more from me. And finally, keep paying attention to your life.